Hey guys, so uh, ended up picking up some field cast iron skillets number six and a number 10. And right off the bat, you can see that the uh, packaging is very nice, uh, very premium look to them. Um, they look great. So uh, we're gonna unbox the number six first. And uh, right off the bat, you can tell um, this isn't gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna slide around in its packaging or you know arrive damaged. So um, the inside of these, I did notice that they're CNC machined. What you know from what it looks like, because uh, you can tell there's a small amount of grain inside. It's smooth, but you can still feel something in there. And I love the lettering. You know the font that they used and everything. It looks great. And very tasteful. Um, the weight on it is very nice as well. I like that they include in your you know shipping package. Um, instructions of maintenance cooking um you know which is pretty much a starter uh you know of how to use cast iron skillets and what how to clean them how to you know do all that stuff so very nice that they include that um here we go opening the number 10 um like i said packaging is really great not going to go anywhere you're not going to get a skillet that's broken or damaged so um, that's a huge plus. The weight on these um, isn't that bad at all. Uh, you know, compared to uh, the Lodge, uh, they are lighter. They are um, easier to move around, especially with the handle being longer. And um, I ended up purchasing these uh, leather handle covers as well. They weren't that expensive. So, you know, I bought two for one for the small and the bigger one. And uh, I ended up going with the brown. I think they have another color. I forget what it was, but the brown one looks great. I like that color. To me, it's like the brown is a natural color. And um, like I said, they look great. And you can definitely tell very um, high-end craftsmanship on this. In the uh, I'm going to try and put one on right now. Obviously, I'm recording. So uh, I'm going to do my best to not ruin my box do it over here on this side and uh yeah you know with the uh, handle they look even more premium um it feels the handle feels great the cover feels great and just the craftsmanship on this leather handle itself is actually very nice and um here i'm gonna try and zoom in to see if you can uh notice a little bit of that grain that i was talking about um it's a circular grain um, very, it's very hard to see, you know, I mean, you really have to pay attention to it, but the color on these is very nice as well. Um, it says it's been triple seasoned with flax seed oil or grape seed oil. I can't remember. I'm really sorry, but, um, you know, the inside, it looks to be CNC machined. The outside is, you know, normal cast iron, um, uh, you know, that, that rough texture from that sand molding. So, um, uh, other than that, these skillets look great. So, First thing I'm gonna do is uh, cook, cook some food, and um, you know, let you guys know how it does and what I think. So first thing I did was cook a T-bone uh, steak, and I like the sear on these. Uh, using it on a gas grill outside. Um, like I said, you know, butter basting. Did a fir uh, sear first to get a good uh, crust on it. And uh, got dark, so I had to move inside. Um, so going from the gas grill over to the electric, no issues whatsoever. Um, you know, if you know your stove, you know your stove. So just um, cooked very well. Um, I did end up using a thermometer, you know, just to make sure my family likes to eat their steak medium well. So um, I did my best. And forgive me for this knife. This knife is very dull. Um, the meat was not tough or, or anything like that. It was actually very, um, very soft. Um, wasn't dry whatsoever. You know, you can see here in this video. And uh, that was dinner. You know, asparagus, potatoes, and some steak. And I appreciate your guys' time. I'm going to put some more videos up. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this in the long run. Thank you for watching.